All right, this is question number five from the 2014 Calc BC exam, um, and it's kind of a uh, area volume type of question uh, and perimeter. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to find the area of this, um, where this curve is x e to the x squared, and this is negative 2x. So we want the area of that region, and uh, the region is also bounded by uh, x equals 1. So it's going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of top take away bottom. So this isn't so bad. Um, so that's going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of x e to the x squared plus 2x, and then a dx. And that is, so integrating x e to the x squared is going to give you 1 half e to the x squared. Um, so what I did there was I made u equal to x squared du would be 2x, so I need a 2 and a 1 half, so anyway, I end up at 1 half e to the x squared, and then the integral of uh, 2x is obviously x squared, and that's going to go from 0 to 1, so when you plug in 1, you get 1 half e plus 1 minus, don't forget there's an e involved, so plugging in 0 doesn't zero everything out, so it's minus 1 half uh, e to the 0, which is just 1 half, and then if you want to, you can simplify that to get 1 half e plus 1 half. And that is the area of that region. All right, let's move on. So the next thing is we are going to rotate this around y equals negative 2. So uh, the question is, where is y equals negative 2? Well, that one equation is y equals negative 2x, and uh, the vertical line is x equals 1. So they actually intersect at negative 2. So right there. And we have to rotate around this. Um, so, uh, we get a big outer radius and a smaller inner radius. So it's going to be pi, the integral from 0 to 1. Uh, the outer radius is going to be uh, x e to the x squared. And then, so it's outer minus axis. So x e to the x squared minus negative 2, which is x e to the x squared plus 2, squared minus the inner radius, which is going to be negative 2x minus negative 2, or negative 2x plus 2, and then that quantity squared. So we'll get negative 2x plus 2 squared, and then a dx. Uh, it says not to evaluate it, and that's really good, because I really don't want to do that. Um, all right, so the next question, we need to find the uh, perimeter of this region. So I'm going to do that in uh, one, two, three, kind of four parts. So the first part, uh, I'm going to say let f of x equal x e to the x squared and g of x be uh, negative 2x because I might need those. Um, so the first part of the region is uh, this part down here at the bottom. Uh, but if you look at it, that's actually a triangle that has uh, the scale is really weird. One leg is 1 and the other leg is 2. Uh, so that's actually radical 5. Um, and then here... Uh, between the intersection point and the x-axis, that is 2, because if you plug 1 into g of x, you get negative 2, um, but it's distance, so it's positive 2. And then if you keep going up along x equals 1, uh, this distance right here, if we plug 1 into f of x, we get just e, so that's e. And now we need to uh, figure out this arc length. So arc length, I'm going to call it s. s is the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. It's not really clear to me because it says uh, write but do not evaluate an expression involving one or more integrals. Um, I'm not sure that I really need to find f prime of x, so I'm actually going to write my answer without finding it because uh, I defined f of x. And I certainly am writing an answer that if you punch it into a calculator will give you a, a uh, numerical value, assuming you've stored uh, f of x and know what you're doing. So we have that, but uh, just in case, and because by this point you probably had a lot of extra time, um, f prime of x is, uh, so it's first, derivative of the second, don't forget the chain rule, plus second times the derivative of the first is one. Uh, so you could replace f prime of x with that, uh, but that's not really a better answer in my mind, so I don't know, not sure what you were supposed to do there exactly, but I probably would have left the answer in the box um, and hope for the best. But uh, I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.